Welcome to the Phillips 66 Community Stadium for this Banorama National League North match between Leamington FC and Spennymoor Town. Paul Horan will be looking for his side to bounce back after suffering two consecutive defeats to Boston United and Blythe Spartans in the last couple of weeks. But it looks to be a tough task for the home side if they want to get anything out of this game against an informed Spennymoor Town side who have won five of their last seven games, including a 3-1 victory over High Flyers Harrogate Town last week and are sitting pretty in fourth place. It's the ever-reliable Tony Breeden who starts in goal. Richard Tornsbury, Connor Goodger, Jamie Hood and Junior English make up the back four. It's Joe Magunda, Kieran Dunbar, Callum Gittins, Joe Clark and Kane Felix in the midfield with Colby Bishop starting up front. For Jason Ainsley's side then, it's Jordan Porter in goal. Callum Griffiths, Chris Chandler, Joseph Tate and James Curtis make up the back four. Jamie Chandler and Matt Dixon sit in front of them. It's Ryan Hall, David Foley and Robert Ramshaw in behind top scorer Glenn Taylor up front. Bishop down the line then, wins the header, cleared by James Curtis, more up than out there, won by Bishop, Dunbar challenges, David Foley comes out with the ball, making tracks from the left hand side, switches, a great switch there to Ryan Hall, won there by Goodger, who's Chandler in the midfield, back to Chris Chandler, over, and it's just wide by Robert Ramshaw, a chance out of nothing there really. It was Callum Griffiths, the right back with the ball over the top and Robert Ramshaw just managed to, to sneak off his defender there and get a shot away. It's over Tate, he's Felix. Felix will chase, Felix will win there and gets the byline. Crosses into the box, eludes everyone and it's picked up by Matt Dixon who will clear up field out for a Leamington throw. Great work there down left hand side by Kane Phillips, the former York City man. Someone just launches up to Bishop. Bishop wins the header. We can only find James Curtis. Here's Chandler, Romshaw, Foley. Foley now. Cuts inside and finds Chandler. Chandler just over the centre circle. Here's Taylor. Taylor turns and finds Chandler. Chandler into Romshaw, Romshaw now just can't find that final ball into Ryan Hall it's a good play there by Spennymore, good passing move out of this left hand side, working the ball across the pitch onto the right, but just couldn't get that final product, James Curtis wins that header here's Felix, Felix inside and finds Gittins, Gittins now back to Felix well won foul there by Kane Felix just notched it past James Curtis centre back left a leg out and Felix toppled over it to win a free kick about 25 yards from the goal and Curtis will receive a yellow card for his efforts. Tawndry then, floats the ball to the back post, it's won there by Gittins and just over the bar, it was always rising, I think Jordan Porter had it covered, towards Taylor, here's Hall, Hood misses his clearance, Ryan Hall down the right hand side, gets the ball and cuts it back, here's David Foley, great save by Breeden, here's Rumshaw now, cuts it back and Dunbar will clear. There again was the danger of Ryan Hall down that right hand side. Leamington cannot allow him to get up to speed. As Will gets the ball on a pick out a player. David Foley just couldn't finish there. Great save by Tony Breeden. Spending more town. Really got a hold of this game in these last 10 minutes. His English into Tawdry. Tawdry in search of Gittins. He back. Here's Bishop. Could it be costly here? 
And it's a penalty. It's a penalty to Levington. Confusion in the Spennymore Town back line. I think Tate was the offender. Opted to head back to Jordan Porter without looking. Bishop latched onto it. Notched it past Jordan Porter. And Porter left a, left a glove out there and took down the Leamington striker who will step up to take the spot kick. It's Bishop then with the spot kick in front of his home faithful. And he converts. It's 1-0 to Leamington. The man who was fouled steps up to take the penalty, sends Jordan Porter the wrong way, and what a goal that could prove to be. It's Leamington 1, Spennymoor Town 0, and once again, Leamington bring up the goods against the High Flyers in the Vanarama National League North. Porter. Here's Joseph Tate. Spenny Moore centre back. Dixon in the centre circle. Searching ball for the pacey Ryan Hall. We'll get onto that. And it's Junior English who clears once again. And there's Joseph Tate. We're going to just miscontrols it. Cleared up by Joe Clark. Challenge there by Kieran Dunbar. Clark's let it run away from him and gives away possession. How costly could that be? Here's Dixon, here's Glenn Taylor. Oh, it's just past the left-hand post by Glenn Taylor. Joe Clark lost it in midfield there. It broke, it's a great through ball and his shot just trickled past Tony Breeden's post. Back to Foley, Foley with his back to goal. Tries to turn which Tawndry. Comes out with the, with the ball to David Foley. Here's Dixon, opposite to the back post, cleared by Jamie Hood. Here's Romshaw, good save by Tony Breeden. Down to his right hand side. And Leamington players and fans complaining about the time added on at the end of the first half. It's a good effort there by Romshaw just to bring the ball down and find the strike towards that bottom corner. It's a good. Good outstretched arm by Tony Breeden down to his right hand side. Into Romshaw. Romshaw back to Curtis, just inside his own half, over the centre circle. Here's Chandler into Dixon. Here's Hall, flicks on. Kane misses his challenge. Here's Chandler to start again. Here's Griffiths, pursued by Gittins. Here's Curtis once more, over the centre circle. Through to Foley. Good save by Tony Breeding with his feet. Again, he can't allow James Curtis to trek up the pitch like that. Dunbar to deliver then. It's left him to Junior English is out by Tate. His hood, his back to goal, ops back to his fullback Tundry. Tundry delivers a looping ball in towards Colby Bishop, and it's in! It's in! It's Colby Bishop with his second of the game. That's his brace. It was a looping ball by Richard Tundry just over the halfway line. It was an absolute exquisite header by Colby Bishop to generate power on a looping ball to beat Jordan Porter at his left hand post. And Cobby Bishop gets his second of the game to make it Leamington 2, Spennymoor Town 0, and double the breaks' advantage here at the Phillips 66 Community Stadium. That's exactly what Paul Holloran would have wanted at the start of the second half. Soaked in a lot of pressure from the Spennymoor Town players. One break, one set piece, comes out to Richard Tawndry, loops the ball in, and Cobby Bishop gets his head on it, directs it towards goal, and past Jordan Porter. Tate. Here's Hall. Hall lays it off to his fullback. Griffiths. Griffiths back down the line to Ryan Hall. Faced by Goodger. Hall inside. This way and that. Here's Griffiths. Griffiths into Dixon. Romshaw, big pardon. 
Here's Griffiths once more. Searching ball. Oh, and. Fuck off, Kieran! Dunbar's brought down the fullback there. And it's a penalty to Spennymore Town. And they'll look to convert us and get back into the game. I think it was Chris Chandler making his way down that left hand side. Dunbar was late with his challenge, caught the feet of the fullback rather than the ball. And Spennymore Town now have an opportunity to get themselves back into this game. Joseph Tate then to get Spennymore back into this game. It's saved by Tony Breeden. It's a poor penalty down the middle. Breeden saved it with his feet. And Leamington will clear. English. And here's Chandler. Here's Taylor now. Taylor cuts inside. Watch for the shot. It's a low drive just past Breeden's near post. And that really is a wasted opportunity for Spennymore Town to get back into the game at the start of the second half. Joseph Tate didn't look confident running up to that penalty and it showed there with the Tony Breeden save. Here is Tate, the penalty taker, up in the air by Goodger. Felix wins the header on, looks to run onto his own touch. He makes it. Here's Bishop. As the ball's just triggered out for a corner there. Bishop thought he was in. The referee's whistle denied him. And instead, Leamington will have the corner kick and will look to put the game out of sight in the second half. It's Kane Felix to take the corner. Driven low. Here's Dunbar on the turn. It's a good save by Jordan Porter. Dunbar did very well to get away from his defender. Shot on the turn. Unfortunately, it strains the gloves of Jordan Porter. Dunbar can't get his first touch onto control there. But here's, here he is again. Here's Tate, the misser. Spenny, Spenny Moore's penalty. Here's Joe Clark. Turns to a clear up towards Bishop. Bishop now chasing. Just couldn't get his touch and it's hesitation there by Jordan Porter. Miscommunication between him and his centre back. <laughs> Leamington complain, but in the meantime, his Foley crosses and Ryan Hall misses his touch at the back post. And Breeden seems to have brought down. A spending more penalty. It's a spending more penalty. Once again. Obviously the line referee's gonna go to his linesman here as he had a better view of the situation. It's Glenn Taylor on that byline. Tony Breeden's come out with his goal. Tried to get the ball, but Glenn Taylor's shielded the ball. And Breeden's taken the player instead of the ball. And it's Joseph Tate who's put the ball down once again, who didn't convert the last penalty we had about five minutes ago. But now Spennymore Town have another chance to claw a goal back. Can Spennymore get back into this game with a converted penalty? It's Joseph Tate once more. The centre back steps up. And it's missed once again. Once again, it's missed another penalty. I can't quite believe what I'm watching. Joseph Tate has missed two penalties in the space of five minutes here at the Phillips 60th Community Stadium. In the meantime, it's a corner ball. And Breeden once again saves after saving the penalty. Can't quite believe what I'm watching. A magnificent save by Tony Breeden down to his left hand side. Oh my word. What a five minutes we've had here at the Phillips 60th Community Stadium. Two penalty misses. And I can't quite imagine what's going through Joseph Tate's head right now. Spending more sense back.
Here's Rumshaw through to the pacey. Ryan Hall. He's got Glenn Taylor in the box. It's covered. But it's and Foley has put it wide. He had the whole goal at his mercy. Only Tony Breeden in his way. Ryan Hall was down the right hand side. Got the ball into the box. It broke to David Foley after an interception by Junior English. And he's put it wide. It's going to be floated in then. It's going to be struck even, beg your pardon. It's out. Here's Felix wins the header. Felix has it. His Chandler's Chandler down to the ball. Here's Felix now. It's saved by Jordan Porter. It's Chris Chandler there. Miscued his touch. Gave Kane Felix the chance to go one-on-one -on -one with Jordan Porter. But the Spennymore goalkeeper comes up with the goods. Stretched out a leg. And saved Spennymore Town from conceding the third. Taundry and Dunbar standing over the free kick. We Taundry to take, floated into Cobby Bishop. As a penalty, it's a penalty to Leamington FC. Junior English goes down under the challenge of Joseph Tate and Joseph Tate's luck on the afternoon. Is that another strike put to it as he's missed two penalties and now conceded a penalty. And it'll be Colby Bishop for his hat trick here and to make it 3-0 to Levington. Colby Bishop has the chance to get his hat-trick and he converts! Colby Bishop gets the match ball and it's Levington 3, Spennymore Town 0. What an afternoon it is for Colby Bishop and the Levington faithful. It's an excellent penalty, well taken by Cobby Bishop. It was Junior English who went down for the penalty under the challenge of Joseph Tate. And Cobby Bishop stepped up for the second time this afternoon and converted the penalty, giving himself the match ball. What an afternoon he's had. It's Leamington 3, Spennymore Town 0 as we enter the final 10 minutes of this game. It's Dunbar, to Andrew Dunbar once again, he's onside, driven a low ball into the box, cleared by the substitute Christopher Mason, Joe Clark, back into Dunbar, Dunbar, Revan, with his back to goal, he's managed to turn out of trouble here, and it's a bit of a scrap but he's done well here, Curtis Revan managed to get an effort in, did very well to get out of the challenges of three Spennymore Town players. Broke down the line, but his shot was always rising. Corner then, headed up by Jamie Hood. Felix will collect. And uh, space in front of him, pursued by Griffiths. Gittins now, he's got Dunbar outside of him. Finds Dunbar, who makes it four. 4-0 to Leamington FC. What an afternoon it's been. A great break there by Leamington. Headed out by Jamie Hood. Kane Felix collected it. Made tracks down the left-hand side. Found Gittes in, inside of him. Dunbar made the run outside. Made it past Jamie Chandler. And then finished past Jordan Porter. To make it 4-0 to Leamington on the day. What an afternoon for the breaks. What an afternoon for Paul Holleran. He'll be very happy after the two defeats in a row that his men have recorded a 4-0 victory here over High Flyers, Spennymore Town. It could be more, who knows? Let me just 
just looking to see out this game with a clean sheet. And they have done just that. It's finished. Leamington 4, Spennymoor Town nil, with a very convincing performance from the breaks. So Colby, it must be a great feeling to get not just one goal but a hat trick as well. What's your thoughts? Um, buzzing, obviously. You know, it's been a frustrating time of injury and not going the way I wanted. So. A lot of frustration out of the way, and I'll hopefully kick on and get some more. Obviously, the penalties, was there much talking who was taking them, or were you just taking yeah, the ball? There's and a just... lot of talk saying Gitto's having it, but oh, I was having it, and that was it. So, Paul, three points, clean sheet, and a great performance from the lads. It's not much more you could ask for? No, I, I probably just said him there that it's um, certainly at home, possibly all season, it was probably our most complete performance against, you know, one of the better sides you've seen first half. Um, um, we started really well, and then it was. It, it was we sh I think we had the first sort of 25 minutes of the first half, and then they finished strong. Um, sort of great goal start the second half. We then I just said to the players, really disappointed when we went two up. I thought we were for 10, 15 minutes. We we didn't manage the game well, and if it wasn't for you know two fantastic penalty saves, it could be a completely different afternoon. So we need to be better. We've got enough experience in the squad to deal with them situations, them periods better. Try and play in better areas, buy ourselves a little bit of time, um, so we're not sort of um, back under the cosh again. And you know, c control covers a lot of areas, and controlling emotions, control of what we're doing is important. So that was the only little thing. But nitpicking because there were some massive performances today. You know, to beat a team of spending more's quality, like what we have in the end. Um, you know, uh, on the back of coming back from the two defeats, and I've mixed a few things up today and changed it round a little bit. Um, and the boys that played, you know, the boys that have come in were excellent. The shape of the team, we looked at goal threat all afternoon. Um, you know, with Colby leading the line of the two, trying to get the two wide lads closer to him, Kieran and Kane. You know, it, it couldn't have gone much better for us, really. You know, listen, it's a it's a tough old league, this league, and it asks a lot of questions of you. And every point you get, you've got to really work hard. And we've had to really work hard for that today. Um, four nil, four nil probably isn't a, a fair reflection on Spenny more, but for us, we take it, and it's great that our home fans see a performance because we've had a few of them on the road, not many at home. So it was great that they seen that, and you know, and you could see how excited they were getting about Young Kane on the wing as well. He was he was fantastic today. Obviously, you're talking about star performances, the likes of Kane, uh, Colby, and all that. They're yeah, great. Was, listen, it was it's one of them. Listen, sometimes games, uh, sponsors come and see you, and you know they they, they they struggle to pick a man of the match. Well, they'll probably need a few bottles of champagne uh, today because there was, listen, you go through it. I mean, obviously Tony's two penalty saves. You've got Richard Taunt, I mean Foley, the left sided player for them, who's been absolutely ripping it up this year. Richard Taunt just come in tonight, it was fantastic. Middle of the park, there was a good balance in there. And like you say, Colby's performance, leading the line in his two goals. And then Kane was just a threat all afternoon. So, like you say, it been an interesting one. But no, it was great. And, you know, listen, he's another young boy, Kane, that we've got here. Just, you know, lost his way a little bit. But you get him in our environment, you get it, get, a, get him going again. He's, he's got, you know, he's electric. And, um, you know, and a real good competition. And the boys off the bench, Come on, again, uh, add a little bit to it. So, listen, a real good day for us, and I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted with players that have come in, the impact the players on the side have had, and the, the, the players have got to learn. You know, just saying to the boys earlier, you know, you've got to learn at this level. It's, it's, um, there's different de two, two decisions I made today. We're, we're probably the team we were playing against, and uh, they have to accept that and get on with it and work on. They all are at the moment, and um, you know, and uh, hopefully moving forward, we can all, you know, we can all um, do better.